Hello and welcome back to All About Community. As I indicated when we went to break, we would have uh, a guest. Uh, but before that guest, I want to talk just for a moment about Chauncey Bailey, a former reporter with the Oakland Tribune. That's when I first met him. And also uh, when he was murdered right here in the city of Oakland, uh, he was working for the Oakland Post doing an investigation on uh, some crime that was going on here in Oakland. Matter of fact, several people were convicted of his murder, uh, a senseless murder, and the kind of thing that we want to make certain never, ever happens again, not only because he was a reporter, but because he was a very, very good citizen of the city. Uh, he was murdered back in uh, 2007, and last week, uh, March 5th, a tribute was pay paid to him by the renaming of part of Broadway, the, the part between uh, uh, Lakeside Drive and Broadway. It's called now the uh, Chauncey Bailey uh, 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 Street. So let's Keep in mind, Chauncey Bailey. Uh, with that said, uh, <laughs> uh, it's my uh, pleasure to have as my guest uh, Miss Yasenia Sanchez, who is a candidate for the Alameda County Sheriff's Office. Welcome to All About Community. Thank you for having me. Yeah, now tell me, uh, why are you, uh, g give me a little bit of your background and then why are you running? Well, tell me about your background. Definitely. Uh, so I was born in Hayward and to my father who immigrated from Jalisco, Mexico to Oakland in 1965. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother is originally from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, she came into Oakland, California around the late 50s. I want to say it was 1959 when she came in. Uh, she was six years old. So they both grew up in Oakland, uh, attended public schools, uh, went to, well, my, my father graduated from Fremont High School. My mother graduated from Oakland High. And they got married, and uh, they moved to Hayward. So and where did you going. graduate from? So I actually graduated from a very small town high school, Patterson High. So I attended. I know where uh, Patterson is. You know where Patterson is? Mm -hmm. It's far, far away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's farming town. So we uh, attended Hayward Public Schools. I was 12 when they moved us out there mm -hmm. and then graduated from there and knew that there was really nothing that I was able to get into that would be career-based. So I moved back to Hayward, um, lived off and on with my, my aunt and my grandmother. So um, I actually was juggling three jobs before I was able to get an entry-level position with the sheriff's office at 19. So, and I've been there ever since. So 25 year veteran, uh, highest ranking Latin female division commander. Uh, I've worked a number of assignments and what is there. A, what is your current position? Division commander. So that is, so you have the sheriff, the under sheriff, there's two assistant sheriffs, and then there's six division commanders. And so I'm one of those six. So uh, I've worked a number of assignments uh, which have really been instrumental in developing me as a well-rounded individual. So you understand fully the duties of the sheriff's department, right? Absolutely. And you prepared to be sheriff, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, good. I am ready to hit the ground running. I already know where the improvements need to be made, and I already have a list of actions that will be taken. Now, uh, what is, what's the difference between the sheriff and the police department? Why, why do you need a sheriff's department? So the sheriff's office provides law enforcement services to unincorporated areas of Alameda County. And yes, all the cities have their own uh, municipality for their city chiefs um, and their elected leaders, right? Uh, the sheriff, because it is countywide encompassing, we are there to support in any way that we can and work in partnership with any issues that might be concerning to uh, the cities because we all share the same issues, you know, gun crime, you know, we, we have uh, um, issues surrounding mental health and how to address those individuals who are suffering from mental health and whatnot. So just 
uh, it's definitely, um, it, it, there's much more to the Sheriff's Office. We, we run the Office of Emergency Services, which provides mutual aid to 16 counties across the state. Um, we have a regional training center that operates and provides a training academy for Now, the sheriff students. has been there for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, why, you, why you run it against him? So, you know, with, he's been there a number of years. I know. And, and in the, in his, under his leadership, we've seen, us, seen ourselves fall under consent decree. Uh, that is what is a consent decree? Consent decree is a federal um, oversight, basically, where there are a number of obligations that are identified and that we have to meet the expectations of that consent decree before we're able to move out of it. So the consent decree came because there's a number of services that were not being um, afforded to our jail population mental health services. Uh, when you say jail population, the sheriff is <coughs> in control of the jail, the Alameda Correct. County Jail, right? Correct, yes, that's our largest essential service and our largest and most essential function of the sheriff's office. It takes up a majority of the sheriff's office budget. You know, if you take, for example, our last fiscal year with for the sheriff's office entirely was over 500 million. And the sheriff's office, well, the, the jail's budget was close to 300 million. So you see that the, it's, it's definitely and Do you a have a part. role at Santa, Santa Rita? Yes, I'm the division commander for Santa Rita Jail Okay, right hold on a second. Uh, we're <laughs> going to have to go to break, but when we come back from break, we're going to talk about Santa Rita. And uh, 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 Yasina Sanchez is going to explain a little bit of that to us. So don't touch that remote. Put it down. We'll be right back with All About Community. My name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host, and my guest is Yasenia Sanchez, candidate for Alameda County Sheriff. We'll be right back.